Hi there, I'm Carolyn, trichologist at Absolute. Today we're talking about an interesting type of alopecia. It's called frontal fibrosing alopecia. So I'm getting questions like, what is this frontal fibrosing alopecia? So the first thing is it's autoimmune and it's a pattern of scarring. So it's a scarring type of alopecia, uh, which won't regrow. And it's always on the frontal hairline. Okay, so it can be very easily confused with a uh, female pattern hair thinning. But what happens with the frontal fibrosing alopecia is we're, caused, we're getting follicle destruction uh, at a cellular level. So it actually kills the hair and it won't regrow. So what I want you to know is the first signs of the frontal fibrosing alopecia are these little bumps. Um, we're gonna put this video, uh, sorry, this photo up as well. You can see there's these little bumps that appear at the front. So what it is, uh, is the follicles are raised and there's inflammation under there and it's telling you that the immune system is actually attacking. So if you're seeing these little bumps and you think it's pattern hair thinning, you need to investigate the fact that it's um, frontal fibrosing uh, alopecia. So when you see the bumps, it's actually physically active, meaning there's an autoimmune uh, attack going on. So then the next thing is what are the triggers? So we're, what we're finding is there's a lot of autoimmune conditions these days. So in the science and the general medical community, they still don't really know what causes this autoimmune uh, condition, but I'm part of the IAT, the International Association of Trichologists, and we're seeing that it happens a lot, particularly in women postmenopause who have low vitamin D and have a health history of other issues. Uh, one of the common ones is thyroid uh, imbalance as well. So the next thing that I really teach people is about diet and how diet really affects the frontal fibrosing alopecia and autoimmune conditions. Now this is science, this isn't just guessing anymore. Gluten, dairy, sugar, they are your enemies. If you're eating those things and you have this raised follicle fibrosing, you need to get them out of your diet. Every time you eat the gluten, the dairy and the sugar, it is actually causing inflammation in your stomach and can contribute um, to the attack. So in my world, I want to help you stop frontal fibrosing alopecia. So we need to look at all of your underlying causes. So as we said, autoimmune, sometimes they don't know where it comes from. But when I see it in my clients, there's always contributing factors, just about always low vitamin D, low ferritin, low iron, low B12, thyroid fluctuations. There's always lifestyle factors and diet factors that we can uh, work at. So I help my clients to identify these things and make some changes and then we say can it go into remission? Absolutely yes. So this is a client again I've been working for uh, with two years with frontal fibrosing alopecia. You cannot regrow this once the follicle is destructed that's it. But what we have is we've actually got it into remission and we've got some hair growth around those areas because she also had some hair cycle problems. So her actual physical hair growth was not quite good because of the lows that she had. So we've got a good uh, result in the hair growth around that area. I'm never gonna grow back these areas because they're scarring, so we can look at uh, other factors there. The other thing with frontal fibrosing alopecia, it can go all the way around the hairline. So this is the nape, so it's gone through the back, but here you can see we're gaining a good amount of hair growth back here uh, as well. So then uh, we say, can you regrow your frontal hairline? Well, the answer is no, but we can use things like uh, clip-in hair pieces. Uh, we can cut fringes in. You know, we can do things to absolutely disguise it. Uh, now, common, how common is the frontal fibrosing alopecia? I've been a trichologist for over 25 years. I'd be lucky if I saw one every two years. Now I'm seeing one a week. Okay, so autoimmune is a huge thing that you need to be uh, aware of. Okay, so can you get rid of frontal, frontal fibrosing alopecia? No. Okay, if you have it, you are going to be always in the category of autoimmune and you're going to need to protect yourself. We can help and get some hair growth, as we said, but you're always going to need to protect. Okay, so as a trichologist, I'm helping you again to always look at the underlying causes. Why has this happened? Where has it come from? And how do we get you into remission? I might use products, but I use a lot of nutrition. You know what to do if you have questions for me, email info at